can't build here. Nobody came to my meet and greet. Mr. Soros. Hi. Ooh, fun. Oh, thank you. Day one of brick slopes. Brick slopes rise over run. Y equals MX plus B. We are at the M. Today is the first day of brick slopes in Utah. I'm here with Ross and Jean. Hi. What's up? Now we're heading over to the convention center because we need to register and check in. Apparently there's a lot of swag. And I'm excited for swag. Swag. <laughs> well, that was quick. Ross and Jean just went over to check out the gym. This is actually my first time ever in Utah. I've driven through it once, but I don't think that really counts. And when we were flying in, the view was beautiful. There were so many mountains, like it was gorgeous. And then driving from the airport to the hotel was also beautiful. So this is just a really nice place. Plus the weather's really good. In Texas, it's like 110 degrees right now. We can't even walk Ladybird. The pavement's too hot for her feet. Her little paws. But yeah, we kind of just got here. So I have no idea what to expect from the convention center. I don't know how big it's gonna be. I think this is a little bit of a smaller convention than the others like Virginia or Chicago. But I'm just really excited to see everybody. It's gonna be really fun. But I'm checking all these lovely people in and it seems like a fun weekend. Yeah, so I'm we're so doing Lego stuff. I know that's so cool. <laughs> I can't even like build, like I couldn't build my bed so I couldn't do, <laughs> I couldn't do Lego. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> the hotel staff wanted to come say hi. She wanted to be in the vlog. It's really cool. This hotel has so many fresh cookies. Yay, yeah. yeah, thanks. <laughs> all right, we're finally on our way. That was Sandra, by the way. Everyone say hi to Sandra. Leave a comment. Sandra was so nice. We get to ride in a giant fancy truck. Wow. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's so pretty here. Rise over run. I guess I just picked here because this is where a lot of There's a giant mountain behind a convention center. You better be careful or we'll start an avalanche. So cool. <laughs> Time for the convention center. This is cute. There's these little mini figs over here. Oh, you could put your face in there, Ross. <laughs> Wait, which one should I be? Uh, I want to be the chicken. Look, look, look. look at the middle. Yay. Yay. Bring me to <laughs> your leader. We just walked into the convention center and we're trying to find the registration. I, I guess Jean knows where it is. Oh yeah, maybe that long line <laughs> is probably where we need to go. This is neat. They have a racetrack over here, a bunch of loose bricks on the floor, and then tons of builds that I can't wait to go see. Okay, never mind. That was not the line that we were looking for. We are trying to go to registration that way. Okay, that's amazing. Surprise Pikachu over here. Ooh, fun. Oh, thank you. I got some Lego Masters swag here, and then I get to pick out a little goodie from the bin. Ooh, masonry or pink or gold. These are also beautiful. Which one do you want? <laughs> the masonry bricks. You want the masonry bricks? <laughs> Wait, we each get a bag? Yeah, we each get one. Or oh, we each get a bag of masonry bricks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I guess we get masonry bricks. <laughs> Yay! Fun. Look at that. Aw. Is that, is that you? It looks cute. Aw. <laughs> we just finished registering and y'all check out this giant build here. I love this. We're really working on the ocean right now in the city. I know you probably don't believe me because there hasn't been an update in forever but we're working on it. Anyways, check out how cool the waves are here. Like all that texture makes it really pop out at you. I love that. Oh, they don't push the pieces down all the way. Oh, is that what they're doing? Yeah, this is really cool. I love how they did that. And I'm looking at the beach texture as well, but then over at the downtown kind of beachy shopping area, I love all the colors there. I really want to have my city look like this. Like this is goals, honestly. I really want to be able to do that one day. And that giant like terror mansion thing that kind of reminds me of like the Scooby-Doo mansion. There's more info about the builder, but wow, I love it. <laughs> I wish that I was this talented. How many daily bugles does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? How many daily bugles do you think this actually is? <laughs> like five? <laughs> That's At least three. So cool. You can see more info about the builders there. And then the sitcom plex. I love that. I've been wanting to do sitcom tower in my Lego city, but I just haven't <laughs> one day. I am such a sucker for any friends builds and y'all. It's Heart Lake City. This is so cute. I think they might still be working on it. They have some pieces in the middle there, but I can't wait to see that done. And then this beautiful railroad track. Really creative as well. The sub sandwich shop here. It's like the Beatles yellow submarine, but it's like a sub shop. I love that. The opening ceremonies are starting soon. I think it's almost five or six o'clock. And y'all, I need to show you this. This is crazy. Peter here from Spacetime Brick Studios made me a brick head. 
It's little Emma Sora shopping with like a Disney tile on front. So cute. At release day at the Lego store. Yep, huh? this is me on release day always. And the opening ceremonies are about to start. I'm actually not sure what to expect, but I'm excited and there's a ton of people here. Yeah, James from the East Coast. Oh, it's because he, it's one of the printed ones, that's why. Uh, Jean's version, you're up. Woo! Jean, you got a She's my favorite it's right here. <laughs> Go Jean! Yay Jean! Yay Jean! I know her. <laughs> Yay! I wanna win. Strong work. Is that him? More prizes. This convention is nuts. Oh! Yes. So I was going to just mention that when you get to the bar, some gluten free, some salad options. <laughs> and now I need to go find Ross so I don't get left behind over here. I just got this sig fig. Look how cool that is. Little raccoon face. We just finished up the opening ceremonies and everyone's kind of scattered at this point. We're just kind of walking around saying hey to some people that we didn't see earlier. And then, oh, what was that? Are these real fish? Wait, okay. This is crazy. That's Man, amazing. They they wow. Salt water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Here's some more info about the builder. I can't believe they brought a fish tank. That is so cool. Ross loves fish. Sounds like the pizza is ready. Okay, so now we're heading back to the hotel or at least like walking outside the convention center to get a ride. I don't know how we're gonna get there yet. It's like a 20 minute walk and it's 95 degrees outside. So I'd really rather not walk there. But the opening ceremony was crazy. They gave out like 50 or 60 sets. I've never seen that before at a convention. Ross ran ahead to grab some people so that we can ride with them. Yeah, I really don't wanna walk. Yeah, we can ride with them. Oh, we made friends. Come on, vamanos. Everybody, let's go. I am so hungry. I'm excited for pizza. Za. <laughs> Get some za. Did you guys pick anything up at the Lego store in the airport? No, we Maybe. did not. There's a Lego car. There's a Lego car? Yeah, yeah. I saw it. They were supposed to be Time for an elevator check-in. How do we like it so far? Let's elevate this conversation a bit. There you go. I like it a lot. Actually, it's been a really <laughs> I nice can't get you in frame. <laughs> <laughs> You're too tall. Let's try this again. We're both in frame. This has been really fun so far. I've had a really good time, met a bunch of really awesome people, seen a lot of friends again, and I'm just still shocked at how much swag there is here. It was like Oprah level, just like, you get a set. You just consistently like set. for like 20 minutes. They're you like- You didn't get any though. I feel like I'm a five-star general right now with my brick badges here. Yeah, you look pretty cool. I look like nobody, so I need to put You're on my nobody. badges. But anyways, it's time for pizza now. I am hungry. The last time I had food was in Austin, Texas. I think it's time. I'm gonna have my first meal. In this time zone. In this time zone in Utah, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Let's go eat. The next day. Day two of Brick Slope. I've just been in the hotel room pretty much all morning. I think it's 12 or one right now. I've been working on my keynote talk, which is tonight at seven. I think I forgot to tell you guys that I'm giving a keynote, but I'm really excited. I'm like in a blazer right now. Pink blazer, I thought it was cute. But now we're going to get some burgers. Ross and Amish Ace went over to the Lego store this morning. There was a Lego store opening and apparently the line was like 300 people long. Here's a clip of kind of what that looked like. Today I'm on a little bit of a side quest with my buddy here, Amish Ace from Twitch. Check him out on Twitch, puts on a really good show. We're heading up to Farmington, Utah, which apparently is in Salt Lake, Utah. And we're going to the new Lego store that's supposed to be opening today. We haven't really confirmed if that's true or not. However, when a Lego store opens, much like the Phoenix rising from the ashes, so does an exclusive tile piece. And that is what we are doing. So we are spending about 60 bucks to get there and back just to get this exclusive tile piece because we're true fans. Isn't that right, Amish? That's right. We've arrived at the mall. We have no idea where we're going. We're about 20 minutes early, but we're looking at this Lego store and we probably should have been about 20 hours early to it. Hopefully we could get in. I'm excited. Been in line now for what seems like eons, but I think it's only been about four minutes. Tensions are rising. People are resorting to cannibalism. Things are getting pretty heated here for the opening of the new Farmington location of the Lego store. Nine minutes till store opening. Everyone's really excited though. What do we want? Lego. When do we want it? Lego. Yo, it's Emmett. You think it's actually Chris Pratt? Five, four, three, two, one. And with that, a new Lego store has been born. Target acquired, you see that bag there? That's where the tiles are. That's what we're here for, <laughs> swipe and run. The store's been open for about 25 minutes, but we have not moved a lot. So Amish and I decided we're gonna take a Starbucks break. I'm on a Starbucks run, but look at the mountains back there. Isn't it beautiful here? It's really hot. There's not a lot of 
It's really hot and not very breezy, but I think I'm a pretty big fan of Utah. My side quest, side quest has been acquired. All right, we got the goods. Uh, Mountain America Expo Center. Oh no. <laughs> Tell me you got that. I did. <laughs> I unfortunately did. <laughs> it's okay. All right, we have been in line almost two hours, but we're finally gonna be in the Lego store. There's only about 10 people ahead of us. We got the goods, the only reason we're here. Lego store, station park. We did it. Yeah. We Whoa. did it. We are finally walking in. So excited, mostly for the air conditioning. We've got the dream sets over here. I really want that shark pirate ship. And it's in a big orb, that's kind of cool. And there's the pick a brick wall. This little spaceman. Little boom box. Yeah. They got more of the dream sets over here. I like that little bunny, it looks really cute. We have that tree house, we haven't built it yet. And everybody's favorite is the blob. We got the Disney castle over here, all the friends stuff. Do you blow? The store's a little bit smaller than I thought from the outside, but it serves its purpose. Speaking of the blob, there he is chilling out. And you can see they got the Hocus Pocus set right here on display. Gonna get sunbaked pretty soon. Oh, I like this giant two by four. They got the Pac-Man set over here, looking super fly or all the exclusive Lego sets up here as well. Check it out, they actually have a way for you to play the little Sonic thing. <laughs> this is actually the only Minecraft set from the new wave I don't have, I need to pick it up. Oh, this is cool, I didn't realize these spin around. Look at that, you get 360 view. I really want that Yavin 4 set. I'm not super excited about this set, but I do like the figures. I just can't believe Okay. I just can't believe it doesn't come with Mon Mothma. I would rather have Mon Mothma instead of General Dodonna, because I don't know why we have Dodonna teaching a lecture in algebra when you could get Dodonna in the X-Wing set. Here is a quick little view of the pad wall. It is a very small pad wall, and they're using this like new little brick thing. I've seen these at the newer stores, so I guess they're changing to it. I really don't see any great pieces, you know. These are kind of cool, these uh, three by three plates. And then I like these trans things. These are kind of good for like making waves or something like that. <laughs> and a bunch of uh, blue lightsabers. What are you gonna do with that? But overall, not not super thrilled with this pad wall, but I'm sure they'll restock it eventually. You can't forget the new Corvette. Look at that, man. It looks great. You thinking about getting anything? I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> we just found out there is an exclusive give with purchase tomorrow. It's like a, a truck, but it's only for this store. And it's an $80 gift with purchase, which means we're coming back tomorrow. <laughs> so I guess we're not buying anything today, but that's okay. We got the tiles and that's what we're really here for. I just noticed that they have a nice red carpet for me. I really like that. Woo! Red carpet! <laughs> yeah! We didn't really plan on buying anything and we don't want to just hog up someone's space in line. So we decided to go ahead and get out of there. But we will be back tomorrow to try to pick up that truck gift with purchase for $80. Because that's how we roll in Utah, right? A-Falls, man. A-Falls, man. Now let's get something to eat. I always love Ross Cam because as of filming right now, I have no idea what his experience was like at all at the Lego store. So we're kind of seeing that for the first time together right now. But now we're just kind of hanging out in the lobby. I am hungry. They're hungry. And we're going to go get some burgers. Nom, 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 nom. And y'all, I'm pretty nervous about tonight. I practiced my keynote for like two or three hours today, an hour or two yesterday. I just want it to be really interesting for everybody there. Essentially, what my topic is, is how I use social media to grow the LEGO community, using mostly short form content to reach casual fans as well as non-fans, because it really is a cycle. The more people that get into LEGO, the more people come to conventions, the more people buy LEGO, the more cool sets LEGO makes. So hopefully it's interesting. Wish me luck. I'm really nervous. And our Uber just got here. It's like a 15 minute walk from here to the convention center and also where the burger place is. So we don't want to walk. It's really hot out. We just made it. We're going to a place called Crown Burgers. And it's always a good sign when the Uber driver says good choice. Whoa. This place is neat. It's definitely an aesthetic. I like it. Prophecy says, you know, the burgers are made of horses. What is all of this? Oh, it's the Lego convention oh, across yeah. the street. Yeah, <laughs> Lego stuff. <laughs> You've probably seen a few of us. No, you're oh. the first. Oh, wow. I think we're going to do uh, two crown burger combos, please. Medium drinks? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> do you 
if you're a royal. Very. Wow. I'm hungry. Look at this. We get to feel royal now too. Time for coffee. Wee. Thanks, Ross. Beans and brews. Thanks, Ross. Oh my god. I am a happy girl. This is yummy. It looks like there's also like a hot tub swim spa show going on the same weekend. Pretty crazy. And we've made it to the convention center. What's up, what's up, what's up? So we're here at the Emmasaurus meet and greet of day numero uno. And we basically just got into the convention center. We said hi to some people, saw some really awesome builds, and now we're just kind of chilling. I need to drink some water because I haven't had any yet today, but I have made time for coffee, of course. But yeah, I have a meet and greet in 20 minutes, so I'm excited to meet people. I always feel really bad at conventions when I'm here and walking around and then I get messages later on saying like, oh, I couldn't find you. I wanted to say hi. It just makes me really sad. So I'm really grateful that Brick Slopes has like a little spot for me so that people can come find me if they do want to meet me. And a lot of people are really excited to meet Ross as well. I don't know what he has here. Okay, y'all, we didn't film any of it, but I promise there was a line. There were like 30 people here when we started the meet and greet and then people trickled in. I was so excited. I didn't think anyone would come. I, of course, hoped they would, but that was just really fun getting to meet people. And this is apparently the slowest day because today's Friday, the first public day. There's still Saturday and Sunday, so it's not even the weekend yet. But now Ross and I, oh, hey, Brian. It was good. So many people were there. It was, it was awesome. awesome. Yeah. It's about 3 p.m. now, and there's this giant talk about this whole Avatar build behind me that I want to go to. There's like 1.2 million bricks in it. I'm going to go check it out. I think it started. I'm encouraging them to join. Uh, Mr. Soros. Nicholas is right back there. One. GG's, Brian. Down to the back. <laughs> Shy time is my time. Yo! Yeah! <laughs> Jordan oh, my daughter will love this. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so cool. happy. That's cool. Epic bricks. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. Yeah, yeah, Spin around. The next day. Good morning, Jean. Good morning, Ross. And I see you shining every green color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. And uh, yeah, day three of Brick Slope. I'm exhausted. Just happened. Yeah. yeah. I feel so much better now. We just had breakfast. I had a giant plate of French toast. It was awesome. Now we're getting coffee. I'm with Ross and Jean. And it's about 1.30 right now. I have a meet and greet today at two that I need to be back for, obviously. So we're just kind of waiting on the Uber right now, but I'm really tired. <laughs> Yesterday was such a long day and I was really stressed about the keynote, but I think it went really well. I feel good about it. I made people laugh and that felt great. I don't think I looked too awkward up there. Who knows, maybe. It's good. I keep forgetting to film anything that happens during the meet and greet or the line, but I promise people did show up. This is the line now that the meet and greet is over. Um, and now they're doing a Lego Masters panel, which is why there's so many people over waiting for the stage, something to happen over there. We met a lot of people today that stopped by, maybe like 50 or so, between two and three. And now I think there's like a meeting we want to go to. I don't know exactly what it is. Actually, I think it's in another room. I lost Ross. I don't know where he is. This is just kind of confusing, but I'm just going to start walking over that way. Oh, there he is. Okay, this is fun. The Lego Masters panel just started. I finally found Ross. We just bought a shirt. It has a coffee on it. I like it. I think that's pretty cute. One of the guys local to us in Austin, part of Tech Slug, he makes a bunch of Lego shirts. So we were like, we should probably get one. They look cool. That was actually a really informative meeting. There we go. I'll set you right there. We just got out of our meeting and it was really informative and it was really cool. So it was led by Jordan Paxton. He's like, like one of the leaders of the LAN. And he was just telling us a little bit more about, you know, the ambassador program and like what recognition means and all that kind of stuff, just like for a broader audience, like everyone was welcome to this. But then went more in depth into like the inner workings of Lego and how themes get canceled. And I was just 
listening so hard at all of this, you know? Cause like they were talking about Lego elves. I love the theme Lego elves. I was never like a fan while elves was on the shelf, elf on the shelf, there's something there. But it only lasted for three years, which is really sad cause it was a cool theme. Like every set had these really weird animals and new molds and elements. But he was saying that it was canceled because like the first year did really, really well. You know, that was awesome. But then year number two, they did this whole like Goblin King thing. It was really neat, but just totally different and didn't sell as well. They were kind of like, ah, eh, you know, we've already started on the sets for year three. We're going to come out with year three, but do we continue? And because the sets didn't sell well for year two, they were like, no, we're going to cancel it. So then the year three sets come out. Oh, someone's calling me. Hello? Okay. So then the year three sets come out. They sell really well but the theme's already canceled. So that makes me very sad. <laughs> I didn't like hearing that, but it was just really cool learning more about like how the company works because Legos, Legos are pretty complicated kind of company, you know? Ross doesn't know yet that I see him dancing, but I do see him. So just enjoy this for a moment. I'm gonna let him do his thing. <laughs> He's just having a whole on dance party at the convention right now. You're doing great, Ross. I think it's time for dinner. Oh, thank you. So what do you think of uh, We found Shy. Shy time is my time. <laughs> and look at this giant minifig over here. That's so cool. Yeah, that's really good. Thanks. Oh, and then I want a picture. Wow. Was it cute? I don't know. It's kind of cute. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, I like it. That's that's what I look like. We're coordinating our rides over to a Filipino restaurant. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's the whole <laughs> Fred dropped his brick bag <laughs> under the cop. Hi everyone. Hi, Hi everyone. Woo! Going to get dinner. Wee. <laughs> Slight change we're of not, plans. We're, gonna, we're going we're to gonna, get uh, pizza via 313, an Austin slash Detroit favorite. Thank you, Ross. Like it's like it's pizza. I'm excited that it's a little bit of a pizza. And I wrap it in a hand. So I'm going to go to the pizza. This is how I know. I know. stuffed with a bunch of cheese pizza. Ross got something called the Ambassador Bridge. I am the Ambassador. Yeah, so that was cool. We had to rush back to the convention center because the big group photo is tonight in about five minutes. And we want to be in the picture. You're supposed to wear a specific black shirt, but we're tall and we're in the back, so I don't think it'll matter. Tell them to wait for us. Uh oh, actually, never mind. I think they already took the picture. That's the ladder. I think it's done. Oh wait, never mind. I think we're actually good. We can take the picture. The ladder has not yet been used. Man, there are so many people here for the picture. This is fun. Wow. Right next to me, like, oh my gosh, so many people. The photo took like two seconds. The next day. Good morning, party people. It's day four of Brick Slopes. I am really tired. We were up to like one or two last night, all hanging out down in the lobby. I'm really sad that this is the last day. I've gotten to meet so many awesome people, got to see so many friends, and it's just been a really good time. Also, Utah is beautiful. I'm literally looking at mountains right now. You see them? Aren't they pretty? I feel like I've just been exhausted this entire time, but it's because I'm having so much fun and like making the most of it. You know, we're not really getting too much sleep here because we're staying up super late. We're getting up early. Well, maybe not today. Today we got up at 11, but the rest of the days we were up at like eight or nine. And whenever we do go to Lego conventions, which has been a lot this summer, we just try to take it all in. So um, yeah, we usually end up pretty tired. <laughs> we got asked a few times while we've been here if we brought a mock. We didn't, we really want to in the future. It's just kind of intimidating, I think, like showing off something that we built that's super personal to us or whatever. I'm just kind of nervous because I haven't done it before and I'm not a huge mock builder. Like I don't want people to see something I built that isn't very good, but that is a goal of ours is like to bring builds in the future to show off and like really participate in the conventions in that capacity. And I also feel like this video compared to Brick Fair, I haven't been filming as much. And I think it's because at Brick Fair, like I made that a main goal of the event. It's like to film more, to vlog more, just to like really document the experience but with this convention I've been really trying to just like be present and meet people and just take it all in as it comes rather than trying to document it at the same time and I think that's why I'm maybe like more tired this time is because there's a lot more like interactions and stuff like that rather than like talking to a camera in the corner of the room so I'm really still trying to figure out what that balance looks like because I want to film I love filming but I also want to meet everybody so hopefully this video at the end of it is somewhat coherent <laughs> 
We'll see. Good morning, Ross. What's so good about it? I feel like I just look exhausted. Ross called the lift and now we're waiting outside. We're gonna go get some coffee and breakfast. And then we're gonna go look at Lego till three. Oh, we got a Tesla, this is cool. How do I do it? So. I always feel like an idiot when I'm in a Tesla because I don't know how to open the door. <laughs> well, this is kind of weird. So we're going to Beans and Brews. It's a coffee place we've been to a few times now, but um, it's short staffed. So we have to use the drive through and we don't have a car. <laughs> so we're going to see how this works. Wish us luck. I really need caffeine. This feels ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny. Is there someone here? It says they're open. Could I do it iced? You could do is it iced. Possible? Yeah. yeah. Could I do What's it iced? iced? Um, medium, please. Do you want whipped cream? Um, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Got it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Utah is so pretty. Look at the mountains. There's mountains here. I actually really needed a Sharpie yesterday, and I just found one outside the coffee shop. So I think I'm going to snag this. I don't think it'll be missed. It was just on the floor. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. We just finished up our coffee. The coffee there was huge. Look at that. That's a large. It's a huge coffee. I walked in, I saw this coffee, and I was like, that coffee is huge. I don't know what you're trying to do. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's almost like a 7-Eleven Big Gulp, but it's coffee. It's crazy here. And now it's time for the convention. I'm really excited to get in there. We just had coffee for like 30 minutes, and I feel like you can already tell a difference in me <laughs> like i actually feel awake i can formulate sentences Ooh, i'm a little jittery but it's fine it's about what 120 right now our meet and greet starts at two and i'm so excited it's our last day of meet and greets which is sad it's our last day of the convention which is sad but i'm just excited to meet people like everyone's been so nice like everyone in utah is so nice here you want to dance in the background? I told Ross to dance. But yeah, this whole convention has been incredible. Like, I'm really honored that I got to give the keynote this year. And there's just been, it's been a lot. <laughs> it's really been a lot. There you go. There's your Ross dance part of the vlog. Oh, you're so good, Ross. Picked People up the sign. Good job. This place rocks. All right, we're in. We made it to the convention hall. Wow, this one is just incredible. We haven't really taken a close look at this one yet. Here's some more info about the builder. But wow, like the mosaic in the background and all the different Star Wars ships in front, they light up. That one's like exploding. Just so you can see a little bit more of the depth. All of these are floating. So this is the giant 1.2 million brick avatar build from Idaho Lug. And this waterfall here actually works. Like studs will fall down, I believe. And we've never actually seen it working, which is kind of unfortunate because it sounds cool. But this is a whole team effort from Idaho Lug. And they were going over how that happened. They were able to partner with the Lego group to get these pieces in order to display it at a bunch of different events. And something kind of fun about this is because it's Idaho Lug. <laughs> They had all these different Idaho states in the rock work kind of hidden around. I think there was like, what, 20 of them, 22 plus of them hidden around the edges. I also love this technique where it kind of starts on the surface level. We see the water, but then we also get to see under the water. It's really creative how they did that. And um, I don't know if we'll ever do that in the city, but it's just so fun seeing it here. And then this giant Christmassy build here. Look how cool this is. Here's some more info about the builder. You can check them out there. This is like the Christmas city of my dreams. Look at this. It's like Main Street kind of thing with all of these nutcrackers soldiers marching down there there's like a christmas float being towed that's very realistic i love it i would love to have something like this in the city especially like this back corner some sort of like snowy mountainous kind of region in that giant empty space we have that's been empty for like six months and i've mentioned a lot of it oh there's the train <laughs> cool i mentioned a lot that I want to get better at building buildings because I feel like I'm you know, decent enough at landscaping. I can figure it out. It'll look decent enough for me, you know, whatever. But buildings, I am bad at that. <laughs> I'm really bad at building buildings. But I feel like these here, like, I feel like I could do that, you know, and those are a lot of pieces we have on our pick brick wall. Like, those are very familiar pieces to us. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of inspiration. I'll probably go back and look at this footage later. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll be able to figure this out one day. All right, we've been talking to people for like the last hour or two, but now it's time for our meet and greet number three. This is our third one during the convention. I feel like one of those TikTok videos where like nobody came to my meet and greet, but to be fair, it starts in like five or 10 minutes and so no one's here yet. <laughs> I promise, like, we have been meeting people. I promise. I know the line's always empty when I show it but people have come. But check it out, look how cool this is. Someone stopped by and said that they love the channel and gave us this American flag. So I love that. I will find a good spot for that in my city. Tacos from Lego Masters gave us a golden brick. Isn't that so fun? Some Lego Masters swag. 
I don't even want to use it because, you know, I don't want it to get all damaged. But she was saying that like on a Christmas tree, it would look kind of cool. So yeah, thank you tacos. <laughs> That's really cool. And we met this really sweet girl, Kylie, here. She gave us these dots, but she actually won one of the build competitions. We made this giant Ahsoka mosaic and won the best art or something like that. I don't know, it was really cool, really impressive. So yeah, thank you, Kylie. I totally forgot to film any of the meet and greet again. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to like be present here while also trying to document. But um, it was pretty quiet today. Not too many people. Um, it's the last day of the convention and Sunday's I think the quietest day so oh yeah and Ross just said it closes in 15 minutes so our meet and greet was like really towards the end of the day yeah now we get to go around and see some of the builds for the last time because breakdowns at three so these guys traveled a long way and a lot of money to be here we really appreciate them making the trek to you Kyle so let's give them a hand thank you Ooh, these are cool thank you for being out of town. We got to go up and get some tiles. Oh, that's cool. I got these shield things. Whoa, Rob got those. Dark gray, nice. Oh my god, he got it. Good catch. <laughs> 